Hi everybody, welcome to Flick and Feathers again today. Tying a yellow wolf. Um, dry may fly, obviously. A very good fly to have in your box. Especially especially when it's Volgatas that are coming off, but um, the Danica as well, we'll eat it. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel, get access to the monthly Zoom meetings. The members only content and be entered into the giveaways. So I've got my hook my vice. This is a size 10 Camazan B170. And I'm running on a bed of light olive 80 uni. So I've taken my thread down, I've come back to just about the three quarter mark on the shank where I want to tie in my wing. And I'm using yellow squirrel tail. Uh, and I've stacked it. It's a wee bit sparse actually, I'm going to just get a wee bit more. Don't tie it in if you're not happy. Right? Like you lose some when you stack it, you lose some of the short hairs and all that. And uh, the cleaning. So always make sure you've got the right amount when you actually go to tie in. Just cut a wee bit extra, put everything back in the stacker. where you know it's going to be longer than the wing you need slightly and take away any hairs that are just going to be too short wing length, I basically like it the length of the hook um, but that so just offer this in pinch and loop a couple of times make sure everything stays on top and we'll lift the wing and we'll put a turn of thread in in front and another one over the top and just Lock it in. We'll come in, lift it, and cut it at an angle. And I'll get some wax in my thread. You need a good bit of grip here because the squirrel tail is hard and hollow and um, solid. Sorry, it's not hollow here, it won't compress. But because you've cut it at a taper, you're actually catching more of the individual hairs with your thread as you go along. So to sort out the wing, get the thread in front of it and then I just separate it as evenly as I can. And you, you'll sort of know yourself as you feel it at all. And then take two wraps one way and I'll pull that wing which is now trapped back and I'll take two wraps the other way and that's splayed my wing. Take a couple of turns onto the thread onto the shank and I'll bring the thread in front and I'll lock it up. see how you're sitting and then it's just a case you can take another couple of figure eights through ideally you can lock the thread again and then you can come the other way just to help gather it and that's enough right I'm not going to post it um, individually, that I'm quite happy with that. Got a bit more wax in my thread, and come to the back, and then we're ready for the tail. Now the tail's also going to be the yellow squirrel. It's just grey squirrel dyed yellow, obviously, and it's. A sparser bunch than the wings. I 
don't bother stacking the tail. But I will take out if there's like a really long hair. Just take that away. And about the same length, about the hook length, is what I want. So we'll just catch that in. Same pinch and loop. A couple of lock and turns, check the length. Happy with that. We'll just lift it, take a turn behind. That's it nicely locked in and it's sort of cocked up a wee bit. Trim that at an angle as well and tidy up. Just going to run my thread forward to the length of the body. And I'll get my seal for. I'm just using yellow seal for. Don't need a huge amount. I'd rather it was a wee bit sparse than too heavy. And when I get it started, I'm going to work my way down. Now I've got too much here, so I'm just going to throw that away. Put it back in the packet for the next fly. Get that straight to the back, and then I'll just come up with my thread as the rib. And you can take plenty of turns, it just tightens everything up. Now, the hackle I'm using, I'm not using yellow, I'm using a grizzle, and it's dyed west of Island Golden Olive. Right? So it's that kind of orangey, yellowy olive. I just think it's a nice, sort of slightly darkens the thorax looks good and the fish like it as well so it's well worth using if you don't like that you could use a golden olive uh, you could use a yellow you could use a, a yellow and a grizzly one together up to you this is just a it's a Hebert minor saddle now I'm just going to make sure my wings sit and how I like it and actually I'd like it to be a bit more vertical so I'm just coming in with some thread, building a wee dam. Seeing how it is. Happy with that. And then I'll just get my hackle on. And don't be shy with your hackle. Get a good few turns in. You can have three or four behind the wing. Come underneath, lift the wing, get your next turn right in in front. you get there, tie off, two or three turns, just fold everything back, make your wee head, just make sure there's nothing going forward to the eye. And then we'll come in and hit finish. There you go. That's your it's a yellow wolf. As I say ideal for the Volgatas. Some really long straggly fibres there I'm just gonna take away for you bits of hackle. We bit of varnish. Don't touch your hackle, just on the thread. You can go over the eye. Clean that out. And that's you. Got a lovely dry mayfly pattern. That will serve you well on the locks and the rivers. Well worth tying up. So I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys, bye.